So Susan and Ashley, tell us about the origin of the Painted Peacock. Let's not talk about the name just yet, but just talk about how you came to be the owner and manager here. Sure. Um, we were originally actually called the Accidental Artist, and we had two locations. Okay. When the owners decided to retire, I bought this one location, changed the not name. Not both, just the one. Just the one okay. location. And so we changed the name, and here we are. And we've been here as the Painted Peacock for about six years now. Okay. And, and we've been around all together for about 11. And why did you change the name to the Painted Peacock? What's the origin story on that? You know what? It really just came down to I love the colors of the peacock and they're beautiful and I love the alliteration with the Painted Peacock and it was just a really fun name that I felt captured what we wanted in the business. Okay, I can see that being in here and spending some time in here. So at what point in the evolution in the story does Ashley come into the picture? Ooh, she's been here for about four years now. Four years now, now. Yeah. yes. So I had graduated ECU in 2015 okay. and was looking for a job after graduation. <laughs> and then I pretty much came in like a wrecking ball and got moved up to manager and within three months of being here. And I have been here ever since and I love it. Why don't you tell everyone the different kinds of projects that a family comes in, they want to do some different things. What are some of the different kinds of things they can do? Oh, there are so many things. So we've done everything <laughs> from uh, baby footprints. We do a ton with baby hands and feet. Okay. We do wedding gifts. You can do clay impressions to capture those little hands and feet. Yes. Board art like you saw yeah. with team building, birthday parties, bridal showers, Girl Scout troops. Homeschool um, events, yes. baby showers. We do different themed events. So when it comes to the painted pottery, you've got a huge selection to choose from. So when somebody comes in, what's the process of getting started? So as soon as you come into the door, um, one of our staff members will greet you almost immediately and welcome you into the studio here. And then they will give you the rundown of how everything works right. and show you our entire pottery wall. And as you saw, we have tons to choose from. Do people have trouble picking out it's what the to do? hardest part hands yes. down the hardest part is just picking out what you want to do okay. once you decide that it's easy breezy we'll walk you through any of the techniques and projects that you want to learn how to do so you don't have to have any artistic ability 